Are we there yet? Yes, John Smith. We're almost at their village. What happened? Half our people die of the sickness. Um, hello. I'm, I'm John Smith. Captain John Smith. How? Sorry, I, I don't speak Indian. Were you speaking Indian again? I was not speaking to you, John Smith. Captain John Smith. How did they die? This can't be! No, really. You're not even being punked. <laughs> My lord, only by the good grace of God have all people been spared. Truly, these savages are being punished. But seriously, folks, the Europeans suffered far fewer deaths from smallpox because they gained immunity early in childhood. European cities were much more densely populated than the American Indian settlements, providing a prime habitat for disease. As a result, most Europeans contracted smallpox as children when their bodies were better able to deal with the disease, acquiring immunity for the rest of their lives. No, 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 Klaatu. It's because we've inoculated ourselves. It's a lovely process, really. First you get a string and dip it into the cowpox you find on a milkmaiden's hand. Quite extraordinary, really. Then you take a person and you give him the, a nice big gash, a nice big cut, and you really rip the skin wide open so he bleeds all over the place. Then you take the string and dip it right into the cut. They'll suffer a little bit, but they, they never get smallpox. It's a really loud. Well, that's a real downer. Kind of makes me a bit peckish, however. Pokeykins? I could do for a spot of lunch. Sure. There's a buffalo hunt going on right now. They'll be back with food shortly. successful hunt? Yes, we get 100 buffalo tongue. No, 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 man. That's not the way it was supposed to be. No, they didn't just take the tongues. Native Americans everywhere used every part of the animals they killed. They didn't waste anything. They were like in tune with nature, man. They only killed what they needed. Like they treaded the earth lightly, you know? They were totally the world's first conservationists. You may have good intentions, but any time you put someone on a pedestal, you deprive them of their dignity and limit their humanity, reducing them to a two-dimensional caricature. Also, folks, indigenous conservationism is a pretty recent phenomenon. Native Americans commonly use massive fires to clear land, to facilitate movement, to promote forage growth, to trap animals, used it as weapons, and as signals. These significantly changed the environment at the time. Also, waste was common when it didn't affect survival. As many as 1,500 buffalo could be driven off a cliff at a time, and only the ones on the top were utilized. Often, only the tongues were removed from buffalo and caribou, leaving the rest of the carcass to rot. Due to beliefs in reincarnation, some tribes believed that the more animals were killed, the more plentiful they would become. This encouraged massive slaughters in order to improve future stocks of animals. No, man. That's not true. You're just marginalizing them. Marginalize you. So, um, what are you doing, Leia? Um, um, I, I don't know. Why? Well, I was wondering, maybe if you wanted to kidnap Pocahontas with me. Really? With you? Um, well, <clears throat> I, I mean, if, you, you know, you're not doing anything later, yeah, that would be cool. Pocahontas was kidnapped and brought to Jamestown, where she fell in love with colonist and tobacco planter John Rolfe. She converted to Christianity, was baptized, and was christened Rebecca. Pocahontas and John Rolfe married, and they lived happily ever after until she died of smallpox three years later at the age of 22. But seriously, folks, this cartoon is historically inaccurate since it does not contain any gratuitous reproductive organs. <laughs>